charged with hiding the body of her 10 year old son. The boy's body was found in their garage last week. I'm Paula Sands and I'm Redrick Terry. This discovery happened at a home on 20th and a half Avenue near 17th Street. TV six investigates Matt Christensen was there today and spoke with the next door neighbors. Sushi Staples has been arrested for concealing the body of her 10 year old son Zion in the garage of this Rock Island home. We talked to neighbors in the neighborhood today who said that the family was a normal Christian family. Andre and Danielle Bilta have been renovating the home next door and moved in last month. The Bilta said there was never any indication of a grisly crime. They said a happy family lived here. We saw the we saw two girls, um, you know, coming sometimes like out in the yard. I saw them drawing with chalk in the mm -hmm. back driveway. Playing with scooters out front of the garage. Everything seemed really normal. They would wave when they saw us, mm -hmm. and so we were like, oh, they seem pretty friendly, actually, for neighbors. The girls were playing just a few feet from where prosecutors say Staples was hiding her son's body. Sometimes the neighbors talked about church. And, you know, she was like, oh, hey, I'm a Christian too. And so we were talking about that, but we were like, that's cool. Here's info about our church. And she was like, you don't really have a church right now. Meanwhile, Staples has been charged with four felonies, including obstruction of justice and concealing the body. The Bilta said it's like something out of a movie. It's a little weird because all the knowing that all the time that we've been here working on the house and knowing her, knowing what was in the garage, literally like what, we walked 30 past feet it. from the house that we've moved into, a little bit worrying, kind of scary, but um, it was it was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all. An autopsy was performed Friday in Rockford. No one has been charged in the boy's death. Reporting in Rock Island, Matt Christensen, TV6 Investigates. And Rock Island police said today that there were no new updates in the case.